Hi, welcome to Commerce Partner Tech Talk, where today we're going to be discussing the Logitech Switch Cable. So have you had those scenarios where you're walking into a Logitech native, let's say, Teams room, um, and you're wanting to actually now do a, a video call from another platform, and let's just say it's WebEx, for, for, for argument's sake, from your laptop, it hasn't been scheduled via your um, hosted team scenario. So that's where this cable comes in quite handy. So what it'll enable you to do is essentially uh, make, still have the call hosted on your laptop. You'll plug in via this cable, and you'll be able to make use of the room peripherals in order to make that call. So what that means is you'll still be able to use the camera and the microphones um, and the speakers of the solution in order to have that call and not make use of your laptop's built-in camera, microphone, and speaker. So let's have a look inside the box. Okay, so first of all what we have here, HDMI cable, neatly packaged, and we have the usual setup guides and so on, nice and neatly put together. So essentially, I like the way they've labeled it here for you as well, makes it nice and easy to uh, set up for anybody. This is the switch extender. It sits by the table, or underneath the table rather, and then we've got the switch hub. And the switch hub is what's going to be on the display side. I'll go into that now. And then I'm not going to take it all out, but essentially over here you'll see we have all the uh, various power cords and adapters and additional cabling and so on for connectivity or powering of these two devices. I'll take some of it out now as we go through it. Okay, so if you take a look at the switch extender, again, like I said, this is going to be positioned underneath the table. Okay, nice and neat. And obviously, this is you're going to have underneath your table like so. And then you're going to have this device over here. Once again, as I, I keep saying this, but Logitech has some really nice cable management tools at your disposal just to make sure that the installation is so nice and neat. That will essentially go through like that. This over here, as you can imagine now, that's going to be positioned underneath the table. This is going to be through the underside, and then that clips on top uh, like so, for your cable to actually come through. I'm going to show you that cable now in a minute. Okay. And then on the display side, here we have, you can position this behind the display or if you've got some joinery where you're housing all, you, all these kinds of devices, you can put it inside there. But essentially you see a port for power, HDMI to your uh, TV, and you've got HDMI to your, maybe your room PC or Nook. Um, USB-C for your PC and USB-C for the actual extender over here and USB-A is for the uh, peripherals again. Okay, so now the actual cable itself and this is what your actual user will be seeing at the end of the day. Nicely neatly packaged again. So you've got an HDMI cable, and here we have the USB-A to a USB-C cable. Let's put that over there. This is a 10-meter 
USB-A to USB-C, and this is the one that actually connects between the, let's say, the table hub and the display hub, essentially. So your users won't actually see any of these cables. What they're going to see at the end of the day is this device. Just quickly open it up here for you guys. Okay, so here we have the actual switch cable. If you look on this side, you have the USB A. That's for your normal traditional Windows PC. On this side, we have USB C, though, even a lot of Windows PCs are coming out with this cable port as well. So, this is what your user is essentially going to plug in to their laptop. And then they'll be able to bypass their laptops built in, again, the microphone, the speaker, and the camera, and rather make use of the room's infrastructure or hardware in order to facilitate that call. So then everyone can be a part of that call. So what happens is, you can see once again, you've got this little magnetic device. Let's pop this back on here so I don't lose it. So this is installed underneath the table, like so. You're going to see that little this is actually going to be fed through here. Your user is only going to see this portion of the cable because all of these parts are actually going to be plugged in underneath. So it's actually going to be quite neat, essentially. Because what we're going to have as an end result is that sticking out and this cable connecting neatly onto there. So you can actually see magnetically secures. And there's actually like a little dent in there. If you look at the cable itself, you'll see there's also a little well, outward uh, protrusion that fits neatly in there and snug. So if you've got that nice and secure, it just keeps the cable neatly in position. So all your users are really going to see is that sticking out. Obviously, you'll give them a nice amount of length to make it convenient for the laptop. And there you go. Now you can be able to use your Logitech meeting room peripherals for any video conference call or software call, should I say. Um, it just adds to your investment so you're not being pigeonholed into a particular um, software choice. So lots of businesses standardize on either Teams or Zoom or maybe just those two, but there are times when you get invited to meetings that aren't on that platform from a client of yours. Something that's important to note though when using this is that you can't do um, so for single display only. So if you've set up your room with a dual display when using this cable, um, you'll actually only be able to use a single display. And it also makes use of display link drivers. So you need to ensure that the um, requirements that's laid out on the spec sheet with regards to those drivers are compatible with your scenario. Um, just there's a little important things to take note of when making use of tools such as this. So we will be um, connecting this all up at a later stage uh, in another video. Uh, if you have any additional questions or anything further that you'd like to ask us, please don't uh, hesitate to contact us at Comms Partner or leave a comment below. Thanks for joining us.